Welcome to the Etta James. That has a nice ring to it, huh? Mr. Rogers said it says it best. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and that's what today is. The building itself houses 21 formerly chronically homeless folks, and now that they've entered it, we've been able to uh, uh, maintain their housing here in a, in a, in a way that um, is, is like a mutually beneficial project. Helps us, helps them, helps the community. We're here to celebrate that 21 lives, 21 people living in this building, their lives have been transformed. I have a troubled past, a troubled story. I was introduced to the uh, criminal justice system at the age of uh, 11. And from that point on, I was incarcerated every year of my life. The first step for me was to get off of the street. If you're homeless, it's almost impossible to go forward until you get housing. And then once you achieve that housing, it behooves each and every one of us to do something with it because it's life changing. Housing is health. It's uh, uh, housing should be everybody's rights, not a privilege. Housing first is the concept that we use here. It's, uh, it has a real artistic, creative uh, flair to it uh, with the art that you've seen around. Art has a way of lifting the spirits. We hope to bring therapeutic services, but inspirational, life-affirming services that can make a difference. I did it all of this for uh, this building, and I'm going to continue to do for other buildings, too. It's a housing model utilizing private dollars to build affordable housing with the wraparound services of homeless health care. It's not going to be just five or six or seven projects over the next seven years. It's going to be a total of 34 projects impacting 1,800 individuals and changing their lives. It brings me great honor to say that uh, to all the residents here at the Anna James, welcome home at last. Well, I just had to say it again, at last. Yeah, some of you know what I'm talking about. 